Welcome to the Llewellyn Galleries. My name is Justin Ferrate, and today we're going to be viewing the work of Ben Aronson. Views from above. Now, for those who may not know, Ben Aronson is considered to be one of the great urban landscape painters in America. He's represented in over 50 major museums and institutions, both in the United States and abroad. What Ben has chosen in this series to do is to do a landscape, not from a lateral level, but looking down, looking off into the distance. And what this does is it brings out all sorts of questions, issues, things to be addressed artistically, things that are challenging for the artist and yet are very fulfilling to the viewer. Looking at his works, you get a sense of place. You get a sense of atmosphere. You have a sense of reality. It's a heightened reality. It's a reality that's not real in a photographic sense, but it's a reality that you can almost sense in the air, in your tactility. Everything about it feels like you're right there in the moment. And that's really one of Ben's great, great talents. The French have a phrase, coup de foudre. It's a sort of like a lightning bolt. And Ben's work always strikes me as that sort of lightning bolt of inspiration. The earlier things that I did plein air were more, much more faithful to the locations where I was painting. It was more observational, uh, which needed to happen first. But as I began working, the non-essentials began to drop away, and I found certain works beginning to make their own demands beyond the obvious and the familiar, and more in a dialogue with painting. They became more abstracted, more distilled, simpler, and involved with, uh, also involved with abstract expressionism. You get to a point in a painting where there's a jumping off point, where you're not, it's not simply an exercise in the replication of exactly what's there. Once your skills are at the point where you can do that, there are greater objectives that are more important. It's, it's the same as saying, once you have the vocabulary and language to describe something, okay, now you're ready to begin to voice some of your own ideas. And there is a point where you depart from basically what's in front of you. Then you become involved in a dialogue with the painting itself, where you're working in a language that is one of line and composition and space and light, value and color, the organization of the piece as a whole, with all of its various supportive components and elements. One of the other things that Ben Aronson is particularly talented at achieving is a sense of light of a specific place. Now, if you've lived in any cities around the world or around the country, you know that every city has its own kind of light. The cities that Ben Aronson usually depicts are cities by the water, cities like New York, cities like Chicago, cities like Los Angeles. And so you get a sense of the light reflecting off the water. And that sense of sky creates a tremendous sense of space. There is an astrological event that happens once a year, which is known as Manhattan Henge, where the sun is in the proper alignment to set directly in line with all of the cross streets of the city. So you're looking at this profusion of buildings going into the distance with the sun descending on the exact axis of the street. Quite magical for sunset in Manhattan. What's not really talked about is the morning version of the same occurrence with the sun, where it rises over the East River and does the same thing from the other side of Manhattan. And this painting in the morning is at that moment when you get the light coming through the cross streets here. This painting is called Road to the Beach. And in a very typical Ben Aronson way, you feel that you're part of the moment. There's that sense of quietude in the early morning. You can almost hear the silence. And again, that magical sense of light that gives you a sense of richness and deepness and a sense of peace. 
I'd like to say farewell and thank you very much from Llewellyn Galleries in the rail yards of Santa Fe, New Mexico. We look forward to seeing you again in the future.